All right, so we finally got some footage of this McGregor Malinaji sparring session. For those of you who ain't seen the footage, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go watch it. It certainly shows Conor McGregor landed some decent shots on Paulie, and it does show Paulie going to the canvas. Now, prior to this footage coming out, Paulie was kind of daring Conor McGregor and his team to release the full 12 rounds of sparring footage. They have not done that. This footage is an edited little clip, which is only lasts a few seconds. I think it's sure it's less than a minute of footage. Certainly very short anyway, nowhere near the 12 rounds. So they haven't released the full version of, of the sparring session. They just released a little clip. As far as Paulie going down, because he certainly gets hit with some decent shots in there, at least one good shot, a left hand for McGregor. And as far as Paulie going down, Paulie says that if you look close at the footage, you'll see that McGregor pulled him down by the back of his neck. And the footage is not exactly HD. It's not the clearest footage to see. But if you slow it down, you can see McGregor's hand on the back of Paulie's neck. Now, whether you think that's enough to push Paulie down, Paulie says it was the 12th round and he was tired. McGregor's forward momentum and his hand on the back of his neck is what really pushed him to the canvas. It wasn't any punches. Maybe you buy that explanation from looking at the footage. Maybe you don't. One thing I can say though, is that Paulie did not look in particularly good shape. Paulie said prior to this footage coming out that the 11th and 12th rounds in the sparring session were his worst rounds. And for the majority of the other 10 rounds, he was getting the better of McGregor. This is what Paulie Malinaji, I'm paraphrasing here, but this is essentially what Paulie Malinaji is saying. And he says that they edited the footage in such a way to make Conor McGregor look good. And they even edited the knockdown, the quote unquote knockdown, to cut out the part where apparently, according to Paulie Malinaji, the referee Joe Cortez steps in and says no knockdown. This is what Malinaji is saying. So make it out what you will. <laughs> I mean, the whole saga is quite amusing as far as I'm concerned. Paulie Malinaji did kind of call Conor McGregor out when McGregor was talking about fighting Mayweather. And he was saying, I could beat McGregor. I'd fight McGregor. So when he went to spar McGregor, it doesn't surprise me that McGregor has tried to take advantage of him. That's the way that Paulie has put it anyway. He said he tried to take advantage of me. I got to his training camp and I just came straight off a flight and they tried to get me to spar right away when I'd hardly have had any sleep, so on and so forth. And he was very rough in the sparring sessions and the clinches and whatnot. He's an MMA fighter at the end of the day. And then they're doing all these dirty tactics of putting the highly edited video or putting the pictures out there to make it look like I got beat up, putting an extremely edited video, which only shows the good punches that he landed. You know, so according to Paulie, He's been mistreated by the McGregor team. He's even angry at Dana White. He's been cussing Dana White on Twitter. Paulie's just been going off on Twitter. <laughs> He's been cussing Dana White, been cussing McGregor's whole team because he says it's a, a fit-up job and they know damn well that he was actually more than holding his own in the sparring against McGregor. Now, one thing I can say about the clip as well, because a lot of people, and this was expected, a lot of people are looking at the clip and seeing, see, McGregor, he destroyed Paulie. This is a former world champion that he just destroyed. They're looking at a tiny little clip, which is definitely edited, heavily edited, which I have to assume shows the best moments that McGregor had in the entire 12 rounds of sparring. That's what I have to assume. Because if, if there were better moments than that, surely they'd be in the clip. You understand what I'm saying? If the full footage gets released by the McGregor team, because they own the rights to it, then, then we'll find out one way or the other. But it, it kind of reminds me of when that training footage, that clip of sparring between David Hay, uh, David Hay and Deontay Wilder came out several years ago. I think that was when David Hay was in training camp for the Tyson Fury fights, which didn't happen. And the clip by David Hay's own admission in several interviews was heavily edited by his team to make him look good. David Hayes said in several interviews 
Deontay Wilder had very good moments in the sparring session too. It wasn't one-sided by any means, I'm paraphrasing here, but this is essentially what David Hay said in several interviews. That Wilder landed good shots on me as well. It wasn't just, you know, me landing good shots. That footage that you saw, that tiny short little clip, was edited by my team to make me look good. It didn't show the parts where Deontay was looking good. This is what David Hay said. Despite the fact that he said that, you still had people long, long after the fact, a year or so, probably even now, there are people looking at that footage saying, oh my God, Deontay got destroyed. Even though David Hay himself said, Deontay didn't get destroyed. And that he more than held his own in the set. This is what David Hay himself said. <laughs> but it's incredible how easy it is to fool people off a little edited clip of someone sparring a tiny short short clip which is heavily edited and cut together it doesn't even show a continuous sequence of 30 seconds or a minute no it shows little two three four second clips edited together and people look at that and really try to take something from it seriously <laughs> come on people come on Especially when David Hay was giving the others, you know, telling you exactly what it is, basically. So, could it be a situation like that with the McGregor footage spar sparring Paulie Malinaji? It very well could be. But I'll leave you guys to make up your own minds about it. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Have a look at the footage. Tell me what you think. Is this a sign that McGregor could actually cut it at the top in boxing? Or is it dirty tricks and dirty tactics and some con job by McGregor. Let me know what you think. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you click the notification bell below this video. It should be next to the subscribe button to receive alerts for all my future uploads. And talking about uploads, you should see on screen now or very shortly, a selection of four other videos that, I'm, that I've done recently which you might have missed. If you have missed them, click on one, click on all of them. You might want to watch them, you might not. Whatever the case may be, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, share, like, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's happening, I'm out.